Hey everyone, it's Erin. Um, I just want to say hey real fast here. Um, I wasn't planning on making a video, but I'm so bored. So I thought I'd just do a quick one here. Um, anyway, what's up? Um, I hope everybody has a really good 4th of July holiday. Um, if you have the day off from work, that's extra special. I do. I'm really excited about that. I really need a day off bad. Um, although, hey, guess what? Speaking of work, I got promoted today. Awesome. Got a, a decent raise, you know, and uh, should be a good time. So that's exciting for me. Um, celebrating tonight by myself. Went and ordered some sushi and some miso. So, uh, doing what I want to do, which is really nice. And I watched this really great movie called Vantage Point. And, uh, I, I'm not usually into, like, the, the blockbustery kind of movies, but, um, this one was actually pretty good. If you've ever seen Syriana, it kind of has that feel to it. Um, so I recommend it if you're into, like, action and suspense. Um, it's pretty decent. Um, if you don't like Matthew Fox, though, you're probably still not going to like him. <laughs> so, um, he's really annoying. Um, anyway, so I wanted to tell you all about, um, this music festival that we have going on this weekend here in Des Moines. Um, Des Moines isn't really a cultural hotbed. We understand this, but we're trying. You know, um, I don't know anything about farming. I don't know anything about growing corn. I don't know anything about tractors. Um, I live in the city, you know. I was born in Des Moines, the largest city, the capital. Um, grew up in Des Moines. I still live literally right across the street from the freeway. So, um, I like to think of myself as more of a culturally advantaged person um, compared to a lot of people. <laughs> So anyway, um, Des Moines is piloting this music festival this weekend called 8035. Um, the name coming from Interstate 80 and Interstate 35, um, they intersect right here in Des Moines. So um, anyway, they're having like this two-day music festival with all of these bands from all over the world, the country, the city. Um, there's like a free stage and a couple main stages, and um, I, I don't remember if I always said this, but it's like over two days, and um, I'm not going because it's lame. Like, I'm not going to pay 50 bucks to see the flaming lips. <laughs> like, I'm just not. Um, the only bands that I would be interested in seeing are the local bands that are playing on the free stage. So I'll let you know if I go to any of those. But, um not so interested in the main stage. Uh, a little overpriced for me. Um, but the whole idea of 8035 is to try to attract bigger, more popular bands here to Des Moines. Right now, um, we all pretty much have to travel um, at least two hours to see some of our favorite bands. You know, Minneapolis, Omaha, um, Kansas City, St. Louis, Chicago, um, sometimes even Madison, Wisconsin, which I know, Loxley, mm -hmm, they're from Madison, they say they're from Brooklyn, I know the truth. So, um, anyway, that's kind of a long ways to drive. I mean, Omaha is the closest, and that's two hours away, uh, an hour and a half if you drive really fast. But, you know, I, I went and saw Rooney in Omaha a couple months ago. It wasn't so bad. But I like to imbibe when I see bands because um, I like to drink. I'm sorry, I just do. And um, I want to go and have a good time and have some drinks while I'm watching my favorite bands. And I don't want to have to worry about driving drunk home two or three or four or more hours. So um, Rooney, come to Des Moines so that I can have some drinks while I watch you perform. And then I don't have to worry about driving drunk home. I can 
get a ride from somebody. Um, you know, I know my surroundings here. Um, that being said, <laughs> I'm still freaking traveling to LA to see Rooney again twice in two weeks. <laughs> I'm a walking contradiction, what can I say? Um, still at this point planning on going to the Hollywood show and also the Anaheim show in two weeks. Um, we'll see if that happens. Hopefully it will. I'm crossing my fingers. So, um, really that's about it. That's all I wanted to say. Um, oh, Robert, I hope you're feeling better. Um, but I need to say, Robert, I fucking love you because first of all, you're awesome. And second, you eat cliff bars, which is hot. So, um, keep it up because that's just really sexy to me and I don't know why. Um, probably because most guys don't even know what they are. Um, th there you go. Um, what else? I think that's about it. Oh, one more thing. I'm sorry. One more thing. Um, Robert, you have to do this favor for me. Um, I just poured out my soul to you that I really like you. You're by far my favorite member of Rooney because you are. Anyway, um, is there any way that we can maybe get some video diaries from one or more of the other guys? Um, are they anti-fan? I don't know. Um, I'd love to hear them and get to know them a little better. Um, the great thing about the internet is that you're not really talking to someone. You're talking to a lot of someone's. So, um, they don't need to be shy. Nope. So anyway, that's my request. Hopefully, um, we'll see. I'd love to have uh, Louie tell me a little bit about what's going on. I'd love to see Matt and his ever shorter cropped hair and, um, you know, I'd like to see that. So anyway, everybody have a really great 4th of July holiday weekend. Um, if you have the day off, enjoy. I'll be sleeping in hopefully a little bit tomorrow. So, um, Robert, thanks again for um, sharing all the behind the scenes stuff and taking the time, even when you don't feel good, to come and say hi. So, um, everyone, peace and uh, have a good weekend. Bye.